nation are on fire! Yes, bro. <laughs> Come ready, have you lad, yeah? That's it, lad, doing the train with this one. Yes. How are we doing? Good, man. You alright? Yeah. I'm Nathan Fletcher. I've got a pro record of seven wins and one loss. Uh, I'm fighting out a next generation in Liverpool. Are you going to, um, are you going to be transparent with this and be realistic? Because what would happen now is I'll go and have a but <laughs> we don't want to put that on. So yeah, we do. We do. Yeah. So, well, let's see if Lee needs to use the toilet first. We'll be a gentleman. Obviously, I don't want to stink it out before she gets in if she needs to. Listen, just because we're doing the vlog now, you know you'd be I know. in there. <laughs> I'd be you in there straight away. I wouldn't even ask anyone, would I? <laughs> I can't believe that's going on the YouTube channel, lad. that's horrible. <laughs> we got sparring in session today, lad. so this is my first little glove spa of the fight camp. Um, we're about 10, 10 weeks out now from the Manchester card, so I'm going to get back into it, back into sparring. Um, like I said, it's my first one since my last fight, so it should be interesting. We'll see how I get on. We've got uh, Gittins, Wilson, Connor, and they're all in a little bit better shape than me as well today, so... <laughs> All nice, yeah, now, but he's getting it. There we go. <laughs> he probably me up today. Around there, when the triangle, my legs, yeah. I couldn't hit you. Yeah. Anyone else I get in that position, I'm just punching them. Smashing them up, yeah. You were covering boss, lad. You like isolated one arm so I couldn't use it. And I moved your head yeah. out the way enough the other side so I couldn't hit you. The defence on point, but no offence this yeah. round. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad for the first one back in. Same for him, though. Well, lad, I'm about 15 key heavier than him, though. Tough yeah. first round back that last. <laughs> just got that last punch yeah. in there yeah. as well. <laughs> just last shot. Me. <laughs> last dig. Yeah. I started MMA when I was, I think, 14. I was in school and I was always quite small in my year. So pretty much it was just like I wanted to get into fighting so I knew how to defend myself. Like I never really got picked on or anything, but I was uh, I went to an all boys school and I was very aware at like a young age that sort of the alpha males were the ones who, you know, got on best with everyone and, ne and never got any shit given to them. So uh, being quite small, I was like, I need to learn how to fight so people respect me here. Funny enough, Adam Cullen, one of the lads who trains here with me now, he also was training at the dog pit. He come about, he come about six months after I started there. And then, lucky for me, he had a bit more of an idea about the UK MMA scene and he knew about Next Gen and said, look, if we want to take this seriously and like kind of go on to have careers in this, I think this is a place for us to go. So I just trusted him and then it paid off, obviously, because we both haven't looked back to it. second nature at this point I'm not like thinking I need to be taking purposeful breaths it's just kind of in the flow of the moment but then in between rounds I try and really focus on breathing through my nose and recovering as best I can definitely camera looking fast no why did you tense then when you said looking fast I've got only fans I'm absolutely made up to be fighting on the Manchester card it's been I think the last time I fought close to home was in the same venue in the BEC and that was uh, 2020, just before the Covid pandemic, so 
it's been a lot, it's been a long time since I've, I've been able to fight so close to home and since then I was kind of like early days in my pro career and I've kind of built up a little bit more of a following now uh, a bit of a better record and stuff so I'm excited to bring a big crowd from Southport down to Manchester and uh, yeah the fans can expect a, a first round finish in this one I'm coming out I got 15 minutes in the cage last time out against a good opponent but I feel like I didn't show the best of my abilities in that fight so this time I'm coming to dominate someone and get a first round finish Like a <laughs> <monkey>. <laughs> <laughs> Most people get swept off of these solid. <laughs> Look at this train. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> yeah, that was funny, that. Climbing them like a tree. First one back. How do you feel? How do feel it went? It's mad the difference from when you're in fighting shape today. Coming back in and doing your first one. I can't. It's mad the difference in it. You just gas so much quicker, especially like in all the wrestling positions. Even where I've been wrestling, there's nothing like sparring fitness, you know what I mean? So, I'm getting my arse in shape now. Nathan's one of the most well-rounded fighters in here, lad. He's brilliant. Can't wait to see him in the UFC in the next two years. Like, I'm not going to go hard with Nathan. We never go hard. Like, little light round. He's preparing for this fight, lad. Yeah, April 15th. I want to be here, yeah. I want to be here. Goes, lad. Goes without saying. I'll be there, back on me boy. And how was it coming back into sparring yourself? Just got him back in, lad. Nice light session. It's not, an, it's not like you were trying to take each other's heads off, lad. You just a little light session in the gym. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I was made up. There was no cage today because I'd have died in them rounds. Um, sparring's just kind of like the session where you put everything together. So throughout the week, we're focusing on all different aspects of MMA, whether it be like striking, clinch game, grappling. Uh, MMA as a whole and then on Thursday sparring with the little gloves that's our time to sort of put everything together and come up with your game plan for your fight sort of go for a run through of how you want to perform in the cage and uh, yeah basically that's what sparring's used for What are we on now? Little 5k bro, we're on. 1.6 kilometers in the back. Easy money. You've only been running for about 20 minutes though, haven't you? Five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't change the timer, so it's just cut me there at 24 minutes. For sake. Oh, I'd like as well. Four That's alright, that was good. Yeah. I feel like my fitness still isn't like where it needs to be obviously but this is sort of just like the base of the pyramid this so building the foundation now, zone 2 work to keep my heart rate around like 140 like in, the, like in the zone 2 zone and then build up from there and start getting more intense and short domains as the fight uh, creeps up on us so yeah, that's the plan What's next? We've got a private now, I'm teaching someone 12 till 1 Like I'd normally train tonight but it's my mum's birthday so I'm gonna go home and see the family tonight, see me mum Happy birthday to Ma Thank you very much, you love that. <laughs> it's no secret the money's not great at this level of MMA. Uh, I'm very fortunate that I've got a good load of sponsors on board what help me out with like monthly sponsorship fees and stuff like that to keep me going. And then I do the odd private as well around the gym if, if times are particularly hard. I can boost up my me, uh, me earnings a little bit with that. But I'm, I'd rather be doing this and be absolutely broke than going to work a nine to five job that I hate and have all the money in the world, do you know what I mean? So it's, uh, it doesn't really matter to me that. Yeah, um, I got onto Chris a few years ago. One of my friends, Alex, does the CrossFit in uh, Peak Performance, and he was telling me about this pad man in there who, who was sick on the pads. And uh, at the time, when I kind of got into MMA, I was I come from more of a wrestling and a, and a grappling background because, like I said before, I trained in a small gym in Southport, and there wasn't many wasn't many bodies there training. So me and Adam used to travel down to like Wigan and Manchester, Bolton and stuff like that, and we did a lot of freestyle wrestling training. So that was kind of my base coming into MMA. So I realised like if I want to round out my game a bit, I'm probably going to have to get on with a boxing coach or you know a striking coach to improve that area. And uh, yeah, Alex kind of introduced me to Chris um, a few years ago, and then since then Chris has opened up his own gym upstairs in Peak. He's got a couple of pro boxers on board with him, and now me and Paddy go down and train with him twice a week as well. And I feel like he's brought on uh, not only my skills in that department, but my confidence in my stand-up game and my boxing like tenfold. So I'm very thankful to Chris, and I owe pretty much all my striking to him now. You know what I mean? Chris Williams, uh, 
Jamie yeah, Jim's the no name Jim and I'm training Nathan Fletcher doing his boxing training. I've known him now for about six years maybe, something like that, about six years now, yeah. He's so starting to get starting to get better and better each day. Nathan as a fighter is uh, he's one of the most dedicated dedicated lads I know, uh, boxing or MMA. He's um, he gives his all gives hundred percent in everything, you know what I mean, every aspect of his training, whether it's his jiu jitsu, his wrestling, his boxing, his running, his centre conditioning. Um, as a person he's a bit of a kid, to be honest, there uh, now he's sound. Uh, we all get on in here, uh, he fits right in, but all we're all a bit in the head, so he, he, he fits right in here. Right, so that's a day in the life of me, Nathan Fletcher. Everyone, if you haven't already, make sure you like, share and subscribe to this video, and we'll see you on April 15th.